Hi, welcome to the segment that we will continue our talk on bamboo. In this segment, we're going to focus on the use of bamboo from an individual perspective, so people like me and people like you. Ed Johnson, thank you for being here. Thank you for allowing me to be on the show, Raquel. Very quickly, once again, summarize what you do with your company. Okay. Well, we actually, and for individuals, we promote bamboo as a resource in a lot of different ways. There are thousands of products that you can buy from bamboo, and we try to educate the public on how you can use bamboo through products that you can buy or, or how you can apply it to bamboo in the environment. There are just so many things that you can do with bamboo and that I just really didn't know about. And every time I talk to you, I say, are you serious? You can do that with bamboo? Right. So educate me and okay. everyone else on all of okay. the things that we can do. Well, I, I would have to say that, that because of HGTV, a lot of people know about bamboo flooring, okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> and because of, you know, a lot of movie stars, they have to have bamboo flooring. So that's and, you know, old was, news. I don't it, know anything. It, it, no, no, no. A lot of us, I think a lot of us got educated mainly because of the flooring. And, and that's, mm -hmm. and keep, doing that. Keep buying your bamboo flooring. I think that's important. But I think there's so many other products that, that if you want to be healthier, uh, there are a number of different products in the apparel sector, in the food sector. Uh, food and beverage is one thing. There's a lady that's created bamboo tea. There's a company that's created bamboo beer, bamboo wine. The whole beverage category in bamboo. And why is that so important? Because there are a lot of health benefits because of the silica content in bamboo that's so high you, you get a lot of powerful, healthy digestive properties by by uh, drinking bamboo tea or eating bamboo products, you know, whether wow. it's a shoot or something like that. Now, I personally am not a great fan of eating bamboo shoots, but but, uh, well, some, people like but some people love them a lot. Um, and, and the good thing about, about, about bamboo uh, foods and drinks is that uh, when you get the, the, the products in your system, um, it lowers your blood pressure, okay? It actually lowers LDL, cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, the bad cholesterol. right? And, and it actually... Uh, gives you so much fiber that it keeps you regulated, right, uh, from a digestive standpoint. So, so if, it, if it gives you that much fiber, I would assume that it could also potentially help with blood sugar levels, so people with diabetes as well. A absolutely, absolutely. There, there are, you know, there is a company that actually has a nutritional line. Uh, actually, there are two companies, one in Canada and one in California, that actually has a nutritional line with bamboo uh, extract and silica in, in uh, their line. And what happens is that, you know, they, they use this for health purposes, um, you know, when it comes to blood sugar issues and mm -hmm. things like that. Also for athletes, uh, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, yeah, for athletes. And, and, you know, I can always forward that information on to you uh, for people to check that out. So from an individual standpoint, if, if they're looking to do something for their own bodies, mm -hmm. uh, internally, we just mm -hmm. talked about some of those products, mm -hmm. but also externally when it comes to, to wearing things. A lot of people can make the transition from floors now to clothing. Uh, because when you go into the stores today, you see some bamboo apparel products. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of the you're stuff. wearing bamboo. I, I'm wearing bamboo of now. Course. I, 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 <laughs> of course, have you know I have a bamboo sports jacket that I wear a lot, and 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 things like bamboo t-shirts and the bamboo and socks. And you actually and brought a bamboo, bamboo polo shirt. A bamboo polo shirt that this actually happens to be 100% bamboo, so it's very soft. It is very soft. Yeah, it feels like cashmere. A lot of yeah. people don't realize that you can start with a a grass and it comes out like that. And so nowadays, um, you know, you have uh, bamboo apparel that, that is used in the manufacturing process in a, in a closed loop system so the chemicals are not excreted into the atmosphere. So you have a completely clean, 100% organic uh, product with bamboo apparel these days. So buying bamboo for myself from a clothing perspective makes me feel good because I know that I'm buying something that has a minimal impact on the environment, but it also has some other properties that are beneficial to me. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Tell so, me about some of those. So the closer, the closer you get to 100% to bamboo fiber in apparel, uh, you get the 100% UV. You get UV properties about it, uh, you get antibacterial, and you get anti-odor properties with, with the products. So you stink less. You stink less, yes. And I will say that, that when <laughs> I, I was not a believer in that when I first heard about it until I started using these products on a daily basis and when I saw this and, and I am a vendor agnostic so I, I'm, I don't I'm not you know favoring one brand mm -hmm. over another uh, I've tried a lot of different uh, bamboo apparel manufacturers out there and I will say the consistency across the board is the way it feels the softness toward mm -hmm. cashmere but where it's like cotton um, that you do get the you know the odor is not unless it's cake uh, cake deodorant, the, the, you don't find the odor properties, you don't have to wash these as much. And, and when I don't believe it, you know, it's like, <laughs> it, it's, you know, I normally wash my stuff every day. Right. But 
you know, these shirts can go two or three days without you having to wash them because you don't smell the odor. Which and is so, amazing. and this is important from a sports perspective because I think a lot of the the materials that they make in sports clothing that dry quickly, right, um, stink. Yes, they really, do. Really, really bad. Yes, they do. So there are now things that you can buy for sports that dry quickly but are also stink free. Basically, well, well I, I would say this. I would say this. Uh, the closer you get to 100% bamboo. Uh, the less quickly it will dry. It will not dry as quickly as some okay. of the, the, the quick dry. Uh, however, it, you, it's going to feel better, okay, and it's also going to wear better. Uh, and, and when it comes down to some of the other properties that you get, for whether it's you know UV properties, right? If like you're that, exercising in the sun, yeah. you're protected. Well, I, I mean, there are companies right now in Dubai that, that are using they they're requesting bamboo because of mm -hmm. those reasons because of the sun. I mean, when I landed in Dubai at night, it was 120 degrees, yeah. right? And so it's 120 in the shade there. So it's a lot of UV issues going on that mm -hmm. you want to protect yourself uh, when it so comes down to kids, that. So for kids, for example, bathing suits or other attire that would have the UV protection would be great. Absolutely. Uh, so the science behind using something uh, that's made from bamboo is very powerful and it's very well documented. Uh, so, you know, this is, I think it's more documented than global warming. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's just a joke. We won't uh, argue on yeah, that one. No, <laughs> no, no, there's a lot of documentation around climate change, and, right. and that's you know this is all a part of that that discussion. But if mm -hmm. you're trying to do something for yourself, right. uh, there's a lot of things you can you can do yeah. for yourself. Well, I'm gonna I want to talk about what I think my favorite thing that I've seen in the bamboo line, yes. um, and these are paper towels, and these paper towels amazingly are not just paper towels that are made from bamboo. But you can actually wash them and use them again. Okay, so, so <laughs> tell me all yeah. about this. Like it blows my mind. Yeah. Okay, so so in this in, in the sustainability category, and 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 I will say that you know hopefully people haven't tuned off about my comment on global warming because it, <laughs> there obviously is a lot of things. The, the climate is changing as we know, uh, one way or the other, and as as the Earth ages, it changes. But if you want to do something about about sustainability and and, and climate change. Uh, these bamboo uh, paper, you can say paper towels because because uh, bamboo pulp actually makes, you, you get pulp products, you get pulp and paper products actually re represents a huge category. Uh, I actually have bamboo business cards, okay? Uh, so when you're looking at bamboo business cards, you're looking at, at uh, everything in that paper category. Now you're looking at a product that is not only a renewable from a renewable resource, mm -hmm. It's also reusable, right? Yeah. So this this has the strength to be used up to twenty times. You can actually put not only you can put, you can put this in the washing machine. <laughs> I've tried it. Okay, well, I'm keeping this machine. obviously, yeah, this, and this, I'm going to test yeah, it all out. This but. is a favorite. <laughs> this is a favorite at the house for sure because you know cleaning the counters and also uh, people use it to remove makeup. There, there's a company out of Canada that makes uh, they take a product similar to this and they they cut it in little squares. And they use and they sell these as makeup removers. Wow. Okay, um, I know that's how my teenagers use it as makeup remover. They love it. Uh, also, so so what you're looking at is that you're looking at a very soft product. It's renewable. It's reusable, which is very unusual, right? That is and, very unusual. I and, mean, and the kicker, biodegradable. It's incredible. Right? Yeah. Because we go through a lot of paper towels at yes. my house, and the concept of being able to use them and then put them away and then wash them and then bring them back out again is right. absolutely amazing and you know we really try we recycle we try to do things that are good for the environment right because we believe in that and this is just one more thing that i didn't know about that we can use well yeah and we try to push the envelope as well i mean you know individually and also ultimately hopefully we'll see these uh used in, in institutions or restaurants and hotels and places like that but individually th th this would be a wonderful thing is to go to something like that and then here's another one of my favorites <laughs> This is, I couldn't even believe it when you explained this to me. So there are a whole series of these push clean, they look like little buttons. I'll hold them up here so you can see what it looks like. And then we're going to use it right here in front of you so you can see what it's all about. The one that you gave me earlier that I tried was the insect repellent. Yes. Uh, which is really inter interesting. This one is an odor remover. Um, so, you know, again, a lot of uses for that one. Yeah. Uh, tell me some of the other ones that they have. Well, okay, so they've got a shoe polish remover, right? They, they've got, I mean, every application you can think about for a wipe. Or they have a general all-purpose cleaner, Okay. right, which is the first one that came out, which is what, what you want to use as well. Now, the wonderful thing about, about these, these push-clean uh, towelettes is that 
they are housed in what's called a third generation recycled plastic, mm -hmm. right? And it, the problem that we have with general wipes when we buy them in, in a store uh, or online is that they dry out if, if you don't seal them seal properly. It, right. So so the beauty behind what the inventor came up with in this is that there's liquid in here. Mm -hmm. But so I don't know if you can see this, but there's liquid, and so you can move it around. But the wipe inside that we will see in just a second is not wet at all, right? right? It's, it's dry right it's now. It's dry right it now. It will soon be wet. It will soon be wet, and we will let uh, Raquel launch <laughs> it. If we do this it. right. Yeah, let's see if she can it. Launch says it. push, so yeah, we'll so do you that. Push all the so way down. Okay. I'm going to push all the way down. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Look at this. It's rising it, all by it, itself. And it comes up. And it comes up. And when you push down, you push it into the liquid. And you just dispose of So now the this. dry towel went into the liquid that was housed separately. Correct. And now I open this up and I've got this wet towelette that is made of... Bamboo. Bamboo. <laughs> which is grown in Turkey. Okay, so this Incredible. Shows you can grow bamboo almost anywhere, right? And uh, we help distribute this product in North America, and this so we'll is also. Pretend my hands are full of odor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's just a lot of, a lot of things that you can do, uh, and all all the, all the uh, materials that are used are completely organic in in, in these products, so, which Incredible. is really powerful. And uh, so the North American headquarters for them is in Miami. So we have, you know, it, it's really kind of neat what they're doing in this space. And there are a lot of things you can do individually with bamboo. You you've seen the mm -hmm. with fibers. You know, you can make. Uh, towels of different types, you know, whether it's like a paper that towel looks or, like gauze. or cloth. I wonder if you yeah. can use but, make gauze or yeah, something. Well, it well, looks actually, like actually, gauze. No, actually, you can. There are um, we have uh, uh, there are some talks that I got now with a uh, a surgeon and another uh, doctor about making something like this as well for medical applications. Wow. Um, well, it seems like that would work. Yeah, it would work extremely well. And because well. of the antibacterial properties, Absolutely. it would be perfect. Yes, very much so. Incredible. It, I, I want like a million of these. Yeah. I want to travel with them everywhere, <laughs> well, put insect repellent on myself. Well, you will, you will use them because, because you know, you can throw them in a perch, you can throw them in a gym bag, you can throw them in the kid's backpack. Mm -hmm. uh, my kids take them to school. They, they clean their hands with them, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, works really well. Or if you're at a ball game, how many ball games have you been at, soccer game, and you need some insect repellent, you know, or a softball mm -hmm. game? Mm -hmm. that kind of thing or a football game whatever that might be so these are some pretty yeah. interesting things that you can do and you're, you're doing a great thing um, so yeah yeah a lot of things that individuals I can like do. it and um, then uh, tell me about this product yes well this is a product okay it, it, you may not be able to see all the bamboo chips in here but this is a composite uh, where you've got a bamboo composite as well uh, it's mixed a little bit with some recycled plastic but mainly mm -hmm. it's mostly bamboo believe it or not mm -hmm. that's actually used through a heat treating process to make to make a cup right a reusable cup and the wonderful thing about it is that it comes from bamboo um, and there's a very attractive line of, of, of these uh, cups and plates and bowls mm. multicolored um, that, that they come in uh, some the same color as your jacket by the way uh, I have some of that at home and uh, it, it's kind of cool because because you'd never think that this is a uh, this comes from a natural uh, source mm -hmm. right and, and what I really like about, you know, it's hard. This is dishwasher safe as well, right? So now you can feel good about it. You can eat and drink from something that is from chemical the free resource. Chemical, chemical free completely, mm -hmm. uh, along with the, uh, the towels and everything else that you can use. So you can just go all bamboo Incredi all the time. I, it's, it's absolutely incredible. And then, of course, this is the step that you were talking about with HGTV. Yes. The things that people are more familiar with, yes. which is the bamboo that you can use for flooring, for example. Mm -hmm. This one's thicker, so I would say right. this is more what you would use for floors. Right. Well, okay, floors as, as well as desks, okay, countertops. So if, if you are redoing your entire house, a lot of people think about the floors, but they don't mm -hmm. think about the countertops. They don't think about uh, even the paneling that they may they may have in their and homes. Cabinets all cabinets over. Cabinets all over. Uh, we have these in different colors. Right. So that's right. nice. Different colors and you know so um, we have. Um, I'd like to take this not just to college students. Right now, co some college students are doing design competitions with bamboo mm -hmm. all over the country. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that with high school high school students, right? To do design competitions. I know my nine year old is designing a house for her school project, okay, with, with some of that. So And make everything sustainable. Everything sustainable. Sustainable, right? renewable, yeah. off the grid, that's, all of the uh, cool right. things, right? Completely <laughs> off the grid. Completely off the grid. So. 
Incredible. And then from a from a gardening perspective, I mean, do you think it's worthwhile for individuals to consider growing bamboo in their own yards? Well, you know, once again, I, I, I'd say yes, but they just have to know what species to use, mm -hmm. and they can uh, check with their local American Bamboo Society, whatever nursery, whoever uh, carries bamboo, and they're really good and knowledgeable in telling individuals what they can do. What will grow in that region and what is non-invasive is exactly. what you would recommend. Exactly, because we don't, we, I'd like to say since we're on the internet, <laughs> there are people that will see us in Alaska, there are people that will see us in, in Miami, and the difference is that there is a, there's what's, a, the USDA, U.S. Department of Agriculture, has a climate zone map, uh, and all the different species of bamboo uh, are categorized at, by zone. By like zone. This is zone nine. That's right. Just like mm -hmm. just like any other plant, mm -hmm. right? So it'll be good for them to check with their bamboo society or their nursery to see which plants will grow the best in this area with, mm -hmm. with the soils that we have here, as along along with um, you know invasive versus non-invasive. Right. They probably want to go non-invasive, mm -hmm. and and they'll be very very happy. Unless you're going to be harvesting to sell, right? <laughs> then you want the non-invasive. Yeah. Or your neighbors won't like yeah. you very yeah, that's much. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Any other uses from an individual perspective that you would want to recommend? Well, okay, there's one category that we haven't talked about, and I, I don't have the product to show, but there are multiple products in the cosmetic and beauty line. Oh, okay. that's very interesting. They're right now, there are bamboo shampoos, uh, bamboo lotions and creams. Uh, that, that what's really interesting is that there are some studies that, that show that the bamboo is really good for the hair and the nails mm -hmm. okay helps helps your nails grow stronger and your hair grow uh, hair grow and also grow in a healthy manner oh so so there so right now there are there are companies uh, I know there's a company called lather in Beverly Hills and they use bamboo extract in their lotions and creams mm. um, and there's um, a company called Alterna a L T E R N A. Mm -hmm. They're also they're Some in their products. <laughs> they're they're in, they're in Century City and they're in Los Angeles. Uh, uh, and I've talked to their you know their CEO as well. And she comes from the big cosmetic industry mm -hmm. and she's into sustainable products. Mm -hmm. And there's some other ones out there as well. And so the, the cosmetics category is a big category in growing these days because you're getting a natural extract and you're not using those chemicals in the creams. Right. And that's a big topic right now because a lot of people are protesting cosmetics. That are out there, and I don't know all the details on right. it, but they're protesting that there are chemicals and things in shampoos or in cosmetics that we really shouldn't have in those products. And bamboo sounds like not only is it something that's natural and chemical free, but it is a helper to some of the things that we want to happen. I mean, if that could help my hair be thicker, that would be great. No, I, no, absolutely. And I, I tell you, it, it'll, it'll give your hair a natural shine. I'm, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm just amazed at how well it works. Um, even though I, I know a lot about bamboo, it just amazes me to see it work, and it works well. Yeah, I can see that you're very passionate about it, and every yeah. time I talk with you, it's like there's more stuff that comes yes. out that we can do with bamboo, and that's absolutely incredible. Absolutely. So um, hopefully you've learned something in this segment. I know that I have learned a ton speaking with uh, Ed Johnson here. And um, we encourage you to learn more about bamboo and how you can incorporate it into your life, uh, not just from a health perspective, but also uh, from an environmental perspective. It's renewable, sustainable. It sounds like it could really do a lot for us in this world. Right. So thank you very much for being here. Thank with you, me. Raquel. It's great being here. And maybe we'll, we'll talk more bamboo another time. I hope so. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.